I've told this story on the air before. I'm going to tell it one more time. And uh, I even had said it on Facebook as well. Uh, of course, he played at the dynasty that was UCLA. And UCLA won seven consecutive national championships from 1967 through 1973. You think about that today, it's absolutely unfathomable. It's just not going to happen. No, no program in this day and age of college basketball is ever going to win mm-hmm. seven consecutive national titles. Well, the last two titles that they won in that streak of winning seven in a row came in 1972, Walton's sophomore year, they beat Florida State in the final. Uh, and then in 1973, they beat Memphis State, we're now Memphis, in the final, beat them by 21. And Bill Walton had, to this day, perhaps the greatest single-game performance in an NCAA Finals history. He hit 21 of 22 shots. And he made two free throws. He had 44 points, still a record for a national championship game. Um, the record for a final four game is 58 points by Bill Bradley, but it was in what was then the third place game for Princeton against Wichita State in 1965. That that was that was when they still had the third place game, which they uh, eliminated after 1981 to get rid of it. But in a national championship game, Bill Walton still has that record with 44 points. And that was through his junior year in 73. His senior year of 1974, they are number one again and going into the Final Four, which was in my hometown of Greensboro, North Carolina. North Carolina State had an extremely good team of the All-American in David Thompson, who became the National Player of the Year. Walton had been the National Player of the Year the prior two years, his sophomore and junior year. And David Thompson was his senior year. And uh, Walton brought UCLA into Greensboro into the Final Four, where they were matched up with North Carolina State in the semifinals. It was not for the national championship. Some people confuse that. Uh, It was in the semifinals. So there's this epic matchup. It's in the semifinals. My dad was at that game and had baseline seats on one end of the floor. He had had two baseline seats. I tried to get him to take me, but he was going to take my uncle instead, his brother. So Mm -hmm. I get that years later, I understand (laughs) <laughs> so they're sitting, I, I, I get it. You didn't take your brother. Okay. So they're, they're sitting court side and in the opening minute of the game, NC state, Monty towels, their point guard, and he gets the ball into, to uh, Tom Burleson, their seven foot four inch center. And Burleson does a sky hook right over the top of Walton. And it just clears his finger and it drops right through the net. And as they go back down the floor, Walton flips him off. Flips him the bird going back down the floor like that. My dad tell, told the story uh, about he was there. He saw it up close right there. So you flash forward years later, and Bill's in town doing Texas-Kansas game. That's the game where you've seen where he takes off his shirt and puts on a Keep Austin weird T-shirt, mm-hmm. that whole bit. And I, t- I took a picture with him in that Keep Austin weird T-shirt. And we'd gotten to know each other a few other times on the road and visited and stuff. And he was always very nice. But I said, hey, Bill. I said, this was before the game, about an hour before the game. I said, there's something I've always wanted to ask you because I'd forgotten I was going to ask him about that in the past, and I didn't remember. This particular time, it came to me. And I said, Bill, there's something I've always wanted to ask you, but I kept forgetting. He goes, ask your question, Craig. I said, well, you know, 74 final four. Oh, you would have to bring that up. Greatest disappointment of my basketball life. I said, well, that's not why I'm asking. I said. My dad was at that game. I grew up in Greensboro. And I said, and, and there's that opening minute of the game, and Tom Burleson does a sky hook right over the top of you. And my dad, my dad swears that he saw you flip off Tom Burleson when you went back down the floor. Is it true? And he paused. And he looked at me, and he went, oh, I'd like to think I was a better person than that. And then he paused and said, but your father was probably right. 